In a new workbook, you can just click in a cell and begin entering data. But before we do that, let's take a quick tour of the main areas that you'll use to do your work. Moving from top to bottom, first you have the menu bar. Each menu has commands associated with the menu name. File, Edit, and View are the ones you'll probably use the most. Once you become familiar with the menus in Excel, you will find that they are similar in the other Office applications. When a menu item is grayed out, like this one, it means that it is not available based on what you are currently doing in the workbook. Next is the standard toolbar, which shows the name of the workbook, in this case a generic Workbook 1, because we haven't saved it yet. The toolbar also contains buttons for some of the most common tasks, such as opening, saving, or printing a workbook. If you're not sure what a button does, position your pointer over the button and read the tip that appears. Next is the ribbon, which is new in Office 2011. Each tab on the ribbon gives you quick access to features and tools associated with the tab. The tab you'll probably use most in Excel is the Home tab to format data, which we'll do in a later lesson. To show or hide the ribbon, click the Active tab, or click this button on the right side of the ribbon. This large grid area is called the worksheet. Each workbook can have multiple worksheets, or sheets, but we're only going to be using one sheet in this video. A worksheet is made up of cells. Each cell is an intersection between a column and a row. For example, this cell is the intersection between column A and row 1, so the cell address is A1. The active cell always has a highlight around it. These blue bars on the side and bottom of the workbook are the scroll bars. You can drag them to see the parts of the workbook that aren't currently visible. In the next lesson, we'll learn some basics about moving around the worksheet.